today we'll start with the geography part that is unit 1 the earth our habitat and chapter number 1 is the earth in the solar system so children let's see the earth in our solar system okay get the ball rolling the universe the solar system our planet earth geographical terms heavenly celestial bodies the objects in the sky like the sun the moon stars etc are called heavenly bodies or celestial bodies okay stars stars are self luminous bodies they produce their own heat and light planet a heavenly body moving in an elliptical orbit which revolves around a star like the sun and reflects sunlight galaxy millions of stars which together form a group solar system the sun each planet and all the celestial bodies that are revolving around it the universe visit infinite space having millions of galaxies the universe vast infinite space having millions of galaxies constellation groups of star forming a definite patterns if you look at the sky you will see different types of objects during the day you can see the sun at the night you can see the stars moon and sometimes maybe shooting star what are the objects collectively called all the objects that we see in the sky are collectively called celestial bodies or heavenly bodies they include the stars planets satellites asteroids meteoroids and comets have you ever wondered how these celestial bodies were formed the universe According to most astronomers the universe started with a gigantic explosion the big bang of a cosmic egg about 15 billion years ago atoms and later molecules were formed they ultimately formed a giant cloud of gases and tiny dust particles called nebula the nebula had a spinning motion and its own gravity millions of star together make a galaxy Several millions galaxy make up the universe. The universe is still expanding as new stars are being born. Do you know the name of the galaxy to which our solar system belongs? Yes, it is called the Akash Ganga as you seen in the pictures or the Milky Way. On a clear night you might be able to see the Akash Ganga. It appears as a faint band of light across the sky. Connects to geography. Edwin Hubble, the pioneer of Big Bang Theory, made the observation that the universe is continuously expanding and thus the distance has been increasing more and more between clusters of galaxies. The stars. A star is a heavenly body that is self-luminous that it shines by producing its own light. Stars are very big celestial bodies. They look small because they are very far away from us. The sun is the nearest stars to the earth. The stars are made up of burning gases. Constellation. If you watch the night sky closely, you can see cluster of stars. These group of stars are called constellation. A constellation may have just 10 stars or sometimes more than billion stars. There are 88 constellations known so far. You can identify some of these with naked eyes like the Ursa Major, Orion Scorpius, Canis Major, Taurus, etc. So children, see the brainstorm. With the help of your teacher, Find out to which constellation this image belongs. The solar system. 
the solar system is the name given to the sun all the planets that revolves around it their satellites meteors comets and asteroids the sun the planet and their satellites all have their own gravity of different strengths their pull on each other is what holds them in place in the solar system and keeps them where they are thus solar system can be defined as the sun together with the each planet and all other celestial bodies that are bound by its gravity search and surf let's make a model of a solar system take a thermocol sheet and wrap it with black or blue chart paper take one big ball as the sun and eight balls of different sizes considering them as different planets color them or wrap them with different colored papers place the big ball which is the sun at the center with the help of fevicol also place all the eight planets around the sun at appropriate lengths from the sun draw the orbits of the planets around it with glitter pens or paints your solar system is ready the sun the sun is the head of the solar family it is the nearest star to the earth first like all other star the sun is made up of hot gases hydrogen and helium are the main gases that make up the sun the moving clouds of these gases is known as nebula the sun has a surface temperature of almost 6000 degrees celsius second nuclear fusion is responsible for the sun's energy nuclear fusion is a process in which two lights nuclei combine to form a heavy nucleus third the distance of the sun from the earth is about 150 million kilometers the light from the sun which travel at a speed of about 30000 km per second takes about 8 minutes to reach us on the earth the planets all the eight planets of our solar system mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune revolve around the sun in fixed path known as orbit they also rotate on their own axis while revolving around the sun all the planets are spherical in shape and vary in size and composition planets do not have their own light they reflect the light that they receive from the sun It is important to know that Pluto has been removed from the list of our planets and recategorized as a dwarf planet. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars are the inner planets. The four planets are close to the sun and are made up of rocks. Thus, they are also called terrestrial planets. The Earth-like planets, other planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are the outer planets. They are called gas giants as they are made up of gases. Our planet Earth. The Earth is the fifth largest planet and the third nearest to the sun. It is spherical in shape, slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. This shape is described as geoid. Our Earth is a unique planet because it is the only planet in the solar system where life is known to exist. Can you say why? This is because the Earth has all the favorable conditions required for the existence of life. They are optimum distance from the sun, an average surface temperature of 14 degrees Celsius, suitable seasons and weather conditions, and the last one is adequate availability of liquid water so let's connect to geography pluto was once considered the ninth planet of our solar system but now it has been given the status of dwarf planet by the international astronomical union that is au satellites In general a satellite is anything that orbits something else as for example the moon orbits the earth and is a satellite 
like the planets the satellites have no light of their own and they too reflect the light they receive from the sun today man made satellites are being launched into space to study weather conditions develop telecommunication take photographs and map large area of the earth and conduct experiments in the space the moon is the natural satellite of the earth jupiter saturn uranus neptune and mars have many moons while mercury and venus have no moons at all the earth has only one moon the earth's moon the earth moon is the brightest object in the night sky but has no light of its own the diameter of the moon is about 1/4 of the earth's diameter but then why does it appear as big as the sun this is because it is closer to us than the sun it is situated at a distance of about 384400 km from the earth the moon's surface is rocky and covered with dust it has large hobbles on its surface called craters there is no air on the moon it has no life of any kind asteroids between the orbits of mars and jupiter thousands of planets like small bodies revolve around the sun along with the planets these are called asteroids or planetoids many believe that these are pieces of some planet which exploded a long time back the largest asteroid is the sirius meteors meteors are the smaller pieces of rocky material that burn when they enter the earth's atmosphere from space they can be seen as bright streaks of light flashing across the sky and hence are known as shooting stars meteorites many larger fragments of rock complete the journey to the earth surface without being destroyed these are known as meteorites some recent major meteoroid fall on the earth were in vladivostok russia in 1947 berwell britain in 1965 northern ireland in 1999 and persid france in 2011 comets comets are balls of dust and frozen gases held together by ice particles that revolve around the sun in elongated orbits the ice changes to gas when it comes near the sun this vaporized part form a long tail of gas and fine dust the most famous comet is the helis comet which appears in the sky every 75 to 76 years now children it's time to wrap up all the objects that we see in the sky are called celestial bodies they include the stars planets satellites asteroids meteoroids and comets the whole of space containing all the stars planets and other forms of matter and energy in it is called the universe the stars are made up of burning gases the sun is at the center of our solar system of which the earth is a member the earth is the only planet where life is known exist satellites revolve around the planet and accompany them in their revolution around the sun moon is the only satellite of the earth asteroid meteor and comets are other celestial body in the universe so children it's time to take your leave we'll meet in the next class